Hi everyone, Wayne Wallace here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add this RSS subscribe um, icon here, as well as this um, RSS subscription uh, box where people can put their email and um, subscribe to your feed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come right on over here to our website and the first actually the first thing we want to do is we want to go to feed burner okay so if you just go to feed burner dot com it's gonna redirect you over to feed burner dot google dot com and what you want to do is you want to set up an account and the easiest way to do that is to just um, put in your, let's actually sign out. And you have to have a Google account, obviously, because this is another Google product. And actually, as soon as I log in, it signs me in. But basically, you'll come up to a page that... Um, says you know what do you want to what do you want to burn and you basically just put in your your feed name so let me go into mine and see if I can find <clears throat> the feed details for you here okay so here's my original feed name it's my domain how to protect your privacy online.com forward slash feed okay you should have one of those for your WordPress and then you give it a name like here I gave it how to protect your privacy online. So it's going to, the new feed address is going to be feeds.feedburner.com forward slash whatever the name is you put in here, which is, this is what I put in here. And then you can save your feed details. So now that's going to be your new feed. And then what this allows you to do is let you uh, get subscribers and, and publicize your feed on the internet so if you come uh, over here to publicize on this tab you can turn on email subscriptions and you simply just turn this on and here you have a form okay subscription management form and here's a subscription link uh, code so basically what I did was I took this code right here, I copied it, went over here to my dashboard in my, my admin panel, and went to Appearance and Widgets. And then I put a text box. So I just took this text box and I dragged it right up here and you get a text box and in that text box you can paste the code that you got from the feed burner so this is going to give you this form right here okay so um, I'm actually going to delete this because I've already got one okay so here's mine right here and I just wrote in here subscribe to our blog feed and hit save and then close Okay, and then up here I have another text box, and this one has another piece of code. And this one gives me the standard RSS icon up here. So every everyone that knows anything about RSS knows this icon, and you want to put this in a visible spot because if someone sees this, they know what this means, and they can click on this, and then they can subscribe in their favorite reader. So if you don't know about readers, uh, these are some of the popular readers. And basically what it allows you to do is publish your blog in a stream-like fashion. And people can subscribe to your stream and they'll get all of your blog posts. So these are all the blog posts that I've made on howtoprotectyourprivacy.com or online.com. And uh, if you were subscribed to my 
feed, then you would get these. Uh, now, a lot of people don't use readers anymore. Um, a lot of people just subscribe via email. So that's basically what I did with that box that I showed you. Is uh, Some people like readers. Um, they're pretty handy for subscribing to lots of information. So basically this box right here allows you to put your email address in and subscribe to the um, the feed. So anytime I publish something new, you would get an email that says, hey, this has just been published. So if we go on over to my email program, which I already subscribed with my email, you'll get an activation link. It says uh, activate your email subscription. And then um, there's a verification link right here. So when you click on that, it'll activate your subscription. So you don't need Aweber or any other tools. FeedBurner does all this for you. And um, it's a free service from Google. So uh, that's how easy it is. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just put that code in there. And then um, there's some additional things you can do as well, which I did on mine, is you can enable certain features. So I enabled this ping shot. And what this does is um, it pings um, places that it notifies services that collect feeds. So I figured that couldn't hurt. And then let's see what else did I enable here. Uh, I made it browser friendly. Um, I turned on smart feed and feed flare. If you read these descriptions, you'll kind of see what they are. This makes it easy for potential subscribers to preview and subscribe um, in a browser. And then over here you have smart feed, which um, just kind of makes your feed, um, you know, readable and usable to a large uh, audience so it can translate your feed um, and it does some other stuff too which I don't really know about but it, it sounded like a good thing to turn on and then feed flare uh, this allows you to put some flare at the bottom of your feed posts so here you can add these little uh, icons and things so here I turned on email this, share on Facebook, email author, yada, yada. So these are just some kind of social type things that would allow you quick, quickly and easily to share or email something from the feed, which is pretty handy. So the whole idea of all this is to make it easy for people to subscribe to your blog feed and make it really easy for them to share it uh, with their friends or on their social networks. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you if you want to add some um, some feed, um, RSS feed type stuff to your website. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.